Hi everyone, I'm Lala. Welcome to my kitchen. As always, if you're new here, take the time out to subscribe. It's free, I promise. Watch the video all the way through. If you like it, promise to subscribe, okay? So today I'm gonna be, uh, the title of the video, I believe I'm gonna name it, um, it's gonna be called, Will Brew Like Meatloaf? So here's a story about Meatloaf. I made it once for him. And all he ever said about it was, I don't like it too much. I never made it again. So first we're gonna start off with roasting some garlic. I have the garlic cloves. I've got a total of three that I just cut the tops off. Salt, pepper, olive oil, wrap it up at 400 for an hour and there you go. Yeah. Now um, this is gonna be for the mashed potatoes. So yeah. Now the tops, I'm gonna utilize everything and I'm just grabbing the tops that I cut off and that's gonna be uh, for the meatloaf. I'm just putting it in my, um, in my garlic roller, link below for that roller, you can find it on Amazon. It's very helpful, very, very helpful. All right, so I think one of my favorite gadgets out of all time. All right, so I got an onion, it's a medium sized onion that I'm cutting in quarters. I'm gonna be using this new gadget that I found at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna, um, it's supposed to be really helpful, like it's supposed to be so easy, but if you have arthritis like I do, or carpal tunnel like I do, then that machine is really hard to use. So um, I'm gonna give that um, like maybe two stars out of five. Five being the best, it's two. Yeah, I, I didn't find it helpful at all. <laughs> so, but um, if you can see, look how big the, the cubes are. I just decided to pull my knife out and, and I like what I did here. Yeah. All right. Um, so we got the garlic, we got the onion, and then I have half a bell pepper. I just cut off the part that was going bad. I was gonna use a whole pepper, but it was actually enough. Now, the meat I have is about one, it's a it's one pound of meat. So, um, it, of course, if you um, make more, then you're gonna need more, you double the ingredients. And then I have some bacon here that uh, I'm just gonna be cutting really small. And then let's go to the stove. This is gonna be the um, ingredients. This is gonna be for the meatloaf. So I'm pre-cooking the vegetables just because I like my vegetables soft. That's the only way that I could really eat a bell pepper sometimes. Like if I cook it, it has to be super soft. It can't be medium soft. And uh, the onions, of course, garlic. We're gonna be seasoning the vegetables, or I'm gonna be seasoning the vegetables. <laughs> I'm adding the bacon. Now, I was gonna add the bacon like r totally raw, but I figured I, I might cook, wanna cook it a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm adding seasonings. I got um, black pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt to this because of the bacon, it is salty. So, you know, we don't want to oversalt. I'm going to add some ground mustard, about half a teaspoon of ground mustard. If you like it, then add a whole teaspoon. Then I'm going to be adding, um, oh, I added more because I didn't add enough because I tasted a little bit and it, it wasn't enough. So uh, stir it up. And then I'm adding cayenne pepper to this because my husband likes spice. And um, if you don't like spice, do not add this. I'm adding some Worcestershire sauce, about maybe a teaspoon. I do add some to the meat later on, but for right now, like maybe half a, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. I will say a teaspoon, you'd be good. And then a tablespoon of ketchup. To be honest, I don't even really measure. I just add just until it feels good. It feels right. Um, all right, to a bowl. I'm gonna crack an egg, put that in there, and whip it up. Toss in the meat. Again, one pound of ground beef, 80-20. Then I found these roasted garlic panko breadcrumbs. Um, I'm adding only half a cup now, but I add a total of one cup. So, then I add, I did let the, the vegetables cool a little bit, but they are still warm. I add the vegetables and mix with your hand. Now, as people, some people say don't over mix. This 
this recipe in particular, you need to overmix. Like, see, you see, I'm adding in like another little couple of squirts of Worcestershire sauce and uh, a little bit more ketchup. And then I'm adding the other half of the breadcrumbs. So again, a total of a cup of breadcrumbs. And then, um, what is this? Oh, pepper. And I'm gonna add salt. Now, if you before you want salt this, if you wanna just like fry up a little piece and just taste it, you can do that. But I more or less knew what I was doing. Well, you know, y'all know what I know what I'm doing. Wait, y'all know I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Alright, so just again, over mix it. So I found these uh mini bread loaves and uh we ate one for dinner and then the other uh the other pan i saved for our lunches tomorrow and then uh i'm gonna make the this is the ketchup vinegar glaze so a cup of ketchup about two tablespoons or you know what let me see what i do that's about one tablespoon and then you want equal one tablespoon brown sugar. Mix it up and then put it right on top of the meat. You're gonna cook this in the oven uncovered for the first 55 minutes at 350. And then you're gonna raise the temperature to 400 and cook it for 25 minutes, again, uncovered. All right, so for potatoes, I got two russet potatoes. I uh, just skinned them and uh, cut them in fours. Put them in some boiling water that I did salt. You do want to salt. Don't over salt, not like pasta water. Just add some salt to it. And I cooked it for about 15, 20 minutes. Meantime, the garlic was ready. Um, I used a total of two garlic cloves for two potatoes uh, and the other one I'm gonna save for some toast tomorrow I'm so excited <laughs> but yeah there you go there it is oh so good oh th these potatoes were so bomb so that other piece of onion that I had left over I'm just gonna cut it up for the green beans for later in a minute in a minute all right what am I doing next okay potatoes are ready so I just um, drain them and then you add everything that you want to your potatoes. Now I'm gonna be adding about two hefty tablespoons of butter. Um, that's about a quarter cup of half and half. And then I added one, um, did I say, have I been saying cloves? I mean a whole a head of garlic roasted. Y'all know what I mean though, right? Salt and pepper, of course. But do taste it. Sour cream, that's about, I want to say, half a cup of sour cream. So smash up everything. You can use a ricer if you want. I didn't want to have to have more dishes. So I'm just using my fork. It's not that serious. I kind of like lumps when I'm eating uh, mashed potatoes with, uh, with meatloaf. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, so I tasted it and I needed more seasoning. So I'm adding a little bit more salt. I'm adding a little bit more pepper. I'm adding a little bit more sour cream. And then I go ahead and add another head of roasted garlic. Because it just didn't have enough. Um, these kind of potatoes do not need gravy. I also add a little bit more cream. You don't want your potatoes soupy, but you also don't want them too thick. Because then you'll be craving gravy. So just kind of meet in the middle somewhere. Make make sure you smush up the, that garlic. Mm, those were so good. That I'm going to say in order that, then the meatloaf, and then the green beans. Alright, so let's get started on the green beans. So... In a pan, since I didn't have any more bacon, I'm just going to use some bacon fat that I have left over. I've, I've been collecting in the fridge. Then I'm adding the green beans. These green beans are already trimmed, clean, but I did wash them again regardless. I don't care what they say. The store says it's clean. I'm going to do my own cleaning. 
I got that onion I'm tossing in there with um, some crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't like red pepper flakes, don't add them. If you don't like spice, don't add them. Just add whatever you like, salt and uh, pepper. And then I believe I add, um, there's the salt. And then I'm going to add, oh, I add sugar. Yep, I added a little bit of sugar because I'm going to be adding some vinegar. Balsamic vinegar to be exact. So that's why I added sugar. So sugar, salt, red pepper flakes, pepper, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of, of water. Stir it up, put the top on, let them steam, and then take the top off and then kind of fry them up a little bit. What'd you say? Home? You're home? Oh, what's this? Let me see. Yay! It's my sponges. <laughs> you hungry? Oh, I got a good meal for you today, honey. Yes, I missed you. Of course I missed you. Okay, so um, again, just take the top off and let that sauce get thick and it's going to glaze the beans so here's the the meatloaf making sure it was you know a little dense and um but i guess this is the reason why um i would say i prefer this kind of loaf pan because you can cut open to, cut it open to get the meatloaf out without having to tear it up or whatever so um there it is you take it out of the pan so it's not sitting in that fat. Throw that whole pan away. Recycle it. Look at how ju- Oh, it's so good. It's so juicy, y'all. Um, I had to share this. I mean, I know it's a lot of of um, video on the end product. But I was very proud of this. Um, before, when I didn't, like, know what I was doing, it wasn't a good, a good thing. But this was just so good. And I'm just so proud. <laughs> and, uh... I'm so happy that my husband likes it because I miss it. I I miss meatloaf. I grew up on it. He's from Mexico. But look, look, they don't do things like this with ground beef. <laughs> Maybe they do. I don't know. But serving it up, I'm going to serve it up super fancy because, I mean, sometimes the bees like that. But as you can see, the, 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 the green bean sauce got a little thick. Place that on potatoes. Put some meatloaf on top. Y'all ready for my man's reaction? Does Raul like meatloaf now? I know I do, but does he? Let's see. Okay, so remember long ago, I made meatloaf. And I remember you saying, I asked you if you liked it. You were like, not too much. But we're doing it again. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so um, let me tell you what it is first. So first of all, those mashed potatoes, I roasted some garlic, and it has sour cream in it. So the, the roasted garlic, sour cream, mashed potatoes, the green beans, you know how I make those, and then meatloaf, and it has bacon, and bell pepper, onion, garlic, ketchup, vinegar, glaze. Okay, bone nice. appetit. Nice job. Bone apple teeth. <laughs> bone apple teeth. And taste it with the, the glaze. It's a different story. It's yeah. different? Yeah. Way different. Very good. Okay, now taste taste the, the papas. Mm. Papa good? No, taste just the papa. Just the papas. Can you taste the garlic? The roasted garlic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of sweet a little bit? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I love it. So now you love meatloaf? Yes, I did this. <laughs> Yay! All right, everyone. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We love you guys. Bye. Mm, you like you the green beans? Dinner. Bye. You like the green beans? My George is a little too. Yeah, I mean they're good too. All right. Bye.